So I had went through many phases of what I would do with my life and lots of different options um, all over the board. Um, from a teacher, a journalist, I was going to be a ranger in the park system, all over the place. Um, but I think I evolved into this that I felt really strongly um, that this was the combination of things that would be good for me. Um, I liked science. I liked to teach. I wanted to do something with people. I did not want to just be about papers and paperwork and um, just ideas. I wanted to be, I wanted to touch people every day, literally touch people every day. Um, and so, and this was, I had enough different experiences that this kind of brought it together. I had this fear of going to medical school. Um, at the time, not, you know, women were a huge minority in entering in medical school. And I thought that I, I could I do it, was I, did I have what it takes to kind of get through all that. Mm -hmm. I took some pre-med classes and it was very, um, it was not a very loving, nurturing environment and learning was very competitive and is that what I really wanted? Um, so I struggled with it. But, but that moved in this direction. Do you feel you were influenced by the, the women's movement at that time? Absolutely, and I felt I had this responsibility mm -hmm. to push myself. Mm -hmm. That if I thought I could do it, that I should take that risk and I should push myself to do it. That it was my, I had this it's really responsibility that I could not say, oh, this is more comfortable. I'll do, I'll do what I like mm -hmm. and what feels good to me. I had to do it to kind of push the, the boundaries a little. So is, is working with the poor different? You know, are, the, are the poor different than people who have means? Um, in, the, in, the, in that sense? That they, no, they're not. That they want, everyone wants what some, the, someone else about has more than you have mm -hmm. and everyone wants, if they can have it, why can't I have it? I think that that's probably very true of everyone. Um, but how do, so I, I guess that that is true, but I feel like uh, they, sometimes you can't do something about that, so let's think about what you, let's focus in and put your energy on what you can do something about. Um, and sometimes I feel like people with resources feel like, I can conquer this, I can do this, I'm going to, you know, of course if I had more money or more resources I could do more, but they feel that they have enough that they can do, get what they need done. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I feel, the poor feel like, this is what, um, this is where I'm at. I can't do anything about it. They don't feel empowered to make any, even personal choices that could make a difference. Um, you think this is lack of, that, that education is power as well as money? It, it gives them access? So a part, clearly education is part of it, but I also feel like there's a large, um, feeling among poor that they feel, they feel oppressed. They really feel, and that really weighs on them mm -hmm. every decision and everything they make. Mm -hmm. So it's hard, it's hard to believe and it's hard to have hope. You feel like you're at the bottom. What would you, you tell, what would you like people who are not poor to know about the poor? Um, First of all, I'd say the most amazing part of poor people and my, jo my job that I have insight into them is the amazing strength that they have, that they're sto they are full of these amazing stories um, that would surprise you. Um, stories you, about their life experiences? Their life experience, where they've been, what they have overcome to get where they are. Mm -hmm. um, and you may think that they are at the bottom and they have nothing, but they have really done something to get where they are at that point. Um, so it's really great. And I have, whether it's um, many new immigrant stories are really truly amazing. Um, and you kind of, sometimes you just see a row of people and they all look the same and you forget they have really unique stories, each one of them. And this guy, he's not doing anything you told him what to do, but in the meantime, what he's doing to support his niece or something else is really, truly amazing. Mm -hmm. um, very, very strong sense of community and family um, that I think that people who are not poor in this country become more about themselves and more about me, it's all me and what can I get for myself. Um, and these guys are really, maybe the reason why they're still poor is that whatever they get, they share. 
um, because there's a very strong sense of it's not I'm not in this alone that we are.